and Stoiko, for the moment, remains world champion. But there is one great skater yet to come. And listen to the response for Stephen Cousins of Great Britain. Actually, the first British skater to land a triple axle in competition. In fact, he says he has landed a quad in practice and that he will continue to work on it. Sixth after the short program. Good friends with Elvis Stoiko. As he should be, they both trained together. And he said this was a fairy tale ending to be able to skate after his best friend, Elvis Stoiko. His music, a montage of compositions by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. building right now the National Exhibition Center full of energy after Elvis's performance will it help Stephen with this triple Lutz yes the British national men's champion every year since 1990 now there are some credentials his attempt at the triple axle Oh, too bad. Oh, a leading triple sow cow. Very important to stay straight in the air, particular to the ice. Concentration here on the triple flip with a triple toe loop on the end of it. Terrific. Not only is Stephen Cousins a good friend of Elvis Stoiko, he is coached by the same team, Doug and Michelle Lee. I notice that he has a lot of concentration going into these jumps. They're not easy jumps, these triple jumps. However, sometimes if you hesitate too much, they become even more difficult. contrasted music to that of Elvis Stoiko considering they are coached by the same people Many friends in the sport. However, his skating tonight, not on the level of Todd Eldridge, 
and Elvis Stoiko. And a big round of applause from his countrymen for Stephen Cousins. Again, I want to reiterate, it's very special that he has such a great relationship with Elvis Stoiko. He wishes him the best, as he does all his competitors. Really a wonderful ambassador to the sport. A huge fan club on hand here in Birmingham. He will not win, but he is first in the hearts of his countrymen tonight. We'll be back for his scores. Back at the World Figure Skating Championship, Stephen Cousins of Great Britain awaits his scores. Well, you hear the boos from the crowd, but actually the scores are not totally out of line for the technical content that he had. They range from 5.2, which happens to be low, all the way to 5.6. And then the artistic scores, well, they range from 5.4 to 5.7. So, those won't get him anywhere near the medals. There are our protagonists, Elvis Stoiko and Todd Eldridge. A terrific battle between two great athletes for the World Championship. Here are the final results. The Canadian Stoiko defends his world title against the great performance from the American. And Philippe Candeloro of France wins a tight mm. battle with Alexei Romanov of Russia for the bronze medal. Down on the ice are three champions. After a short break, we'll be back with the women's singles competition at the World Championships. Stay with us.